Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Ricochet at Moodle. We're going to look at the Generico filter and how we can add a click to view element to our Moodle content pages. Let's have a look at what this actually looks like before we get into the process of how to. So a click to view, we're going to look at our demo Moodle course. I've created a page called click to view demo and all we need to do is have someone click on this title and content will appear below it. Now why would this be useful to you? Often in a page you may want to have extra information that is not the core content but is part of the information that you think could be useful or would potentially be useful but having all of that information on the one page just makes the page scroll forever. This makes it really simple to add a click to view area on a page with your own HTML content which can be images or videos or anything inside there where a user can just click on the top menu bar and the content will appear. What we don't want to do is have developers or teachers having to put in HTML code or JavaScript or anything else to make that happen. So we're using a plugin called Generico that will make that whole process really simple. Let's go to the Generico filter and have a look. If we go to Moodle.org plugins and filter Generico, you will see there is a plugin called the Generico filter. Make sure you download the version that suits your version of Moodle. We're looking at version 3.6 for this demo. And the Generico filter uh, allows us to add a template or a collection of templates that are easily transferable inside our Moodle content. Let's have a look at how that works. I'm assuming that you've already installed the Generico plugin into your Moodle server. You must be an administrator to be able to view the Generico plugin as well, or to be able to edit the templates. Let's go to our site admin and select plugins. Go all the way down to filters, Generico and templates. You will see I've already created some templates. The template we're going to look at is one called click to view. Let's select click to view and all the information for this template has already been created. So the body of the template, everything that is part of the template is already here. There's nothing you need to add or modify to make this work. What you need to do is grab this information in the instructions. This text just here, Generico, type click to view, uh, a title and some text. So if we grab that information, just that little bit there, we go over to our Moodle course and let's imagine that we would like to add a new click to view demo. We have editing turned on and we're going to edit this page. All we need to do is paste in that Generico code that we had from our template, which looks like this. If we change the title equals to please click to view more information and in here we type in some text content for our course dot 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 we could load in some images as well what have we got here let's select this one we're going to make it a diagram because we need to put some information in or we can tick not necessary we're going to set this as 100% and save so inside our generico brackets information notice we still haven't used any code we haven't gone into the drop down and looked at the code our HTML we've just put in some text I've put in some content and then we have at the bottom what I class as the close tag for the Generico code. It just has click to view underscore end. If we save this and display, we now have a box that says, please click to view more information. If we click on it, it now shows us that extra text and here's our image that we inserted. You can of course click again and it will disappear. You can have as many of these on, on a page as you need. You can have it on pages. You can also, if you like, add this to topics or lessons or the lesson summary 
All we need to do is paste in the same code, the generic A, type equals click to view, and save changes. You can see under topic one we have test title. If we click on it, our content now appears underneath. It's a perfect way to add extra information, extra resources, extra content without it taking up too much room, and it's there if somebody needs to open it and view the content. Let's jump back to the plugin again, because there's one important thing that you can do. I'm just going to make a copy of click to view for you. So if I click on bundle here, you'll see it's downloaded down the bottom, the click to view bundle. I will attach this for you and make that available for you to install. All you need to do now is grab the click to view .text file, go into generic A. Obviously make sure you've installed it first. Go into templates, find a new blank template, grab the downloaded click to view text file, drag that file and drop it over the word bundle. And you'll see there it automatically puts in all the content, all the code, everything ready for you to use or make use of this template. One extra thing, the second bonus, down the bottom, if you know anything about CSS, you can modify the CSS, change the background of the header, uh, change the padding or background of the content, uh, and the border, border size, border color, any of that information, if you'd like to change any of that. I hope this has been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter from Moodle at Ricochet. Please feel free to leave any comments. If there's any other issues or ideas or things that you'd like help with, uh, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help out. Just go to www.ricochet.com.au. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, click on the link below this video. I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.